Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Otorhenolaryngologist. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that in a fluid manner, but there you go. By, uh, Flooper. This one's by Flooper. First, I wanted to make this test chamber even longer. You will know why when you solve the chamber, but many people, including me, want to get going and don't want to spend a lot of time on one chamber, especially when it's a non-hammer and non-bmod map like this one. If you want it to be longer, please write a comment. Nevertheless, this chamber is very open, but equally restricted. There are multiple ways to get from point A to point B, but if your solution may seem a little too complex or has something to do with tricky maneuvers, you may be on the wrong path. If you do solve this test using a tricky maneuver, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. Note, the connections for non-laser cube dropper has to stay at least 3 seconds to spawn a cube. That may prevent certain unintended solutions. Have fun solving this test chamber. Alright, well, let's see what we're in for here today. Auto drop cube, a laser right off the bat, and something to point it off right off the bat. What does that do? Oh, it does that, okay. And there's a bunch of other stuff that we can't really do anything with right now. I'm sure somebody could bunny hop again, uh, across this and get to the exit, but, you know, tricky maneuvers and all. Can't really do anything here. Alright. Well then, let's do, I guess, that. Not much else we can do, really. And then hop in here. Yeah, that's all we can do for now. And that gets us into here. What does this do? Turns on the fizzler. Half of that fizzler gets turned off. And dot. Uh... Oh, it also does that. I hear a laser somewhere. Is that what Dot is doing? Oh, there's Dot. Well then, where's that laser sound coming from? Must be some outside logic, I suppose. Anyway... Now that we've found all the connections... What do we have here? A return path, it looks like. I could have landed up there, actually. Although, wouldn't have done me any good. Does this auto respawn? Let's find out here and now. Yes, it does. Doesn't really matter, because the button to recall is right next to it. I guess the only thing we can do with this is to put it on the button, I suppose? Come on. And then... Then what? Do we want to point it as if a laser is coming from this wall and point it there? Or do we want to point it as if a laser is coming from... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Let's just point it here. And I think that will be the safest option. So let's save there. Anything over here? These looks like... Oh no, those, those are just how the wall is. I thought that might be like angled panels or something. Oh, we can also put it here. That's something else to consider. What does this do? Something I can't see, perhaps? Maybe. Where is square, exactly? Oh, it turns this off. That's interesting. Where, oh where? Oh, it also is part of this. Where, oh where is square, though? Oh, it's on that side, okay. Now that I know that, let's just go ahead and take this, and put it back on here, because this seems to be where it's the most useful. So there's that. Now what? I guess we can do this. Yep. Uh-huh. And then... this. And what does that do for us? Oh, it drops another laser cube for us. How nice. At the end of the day, we want a laser cube here. 
and a laser pointing into this. Alright. What does X go to? X goes up here. Wow, that's almost all the requirements, actually. Moon is a requirement, so we need this, and that, and that button, and that button. That is quite a demand. And the angles work out just right, so that we can't portal into there. Gotcha. Alright, so I guess we... repeat this maneuver. Yeah, we're up here now. Although, again, I don't know what is the point of being up here. Guess we'll find out later someday. More like today, I hope. <laughs> How do we get these cubes out at all? That's- that's an interesting question, right? That needs... This, actually. Hmm. Off now. And what am I supposed to do about that? Can I swap these out? I mean, I guess I could, technically. And I could then get both of them out, but I don't really need to do that, so. Not, not much to do about that. Although, what if. What if I make it recall itself? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to experiment with. Not sure why I did that step. Yeah, that doesn't really do much good. There turns off that. Yeah, this is the interesting bit. So we need to get a laser cube outside, probably. At least I think we do. That would be my first attempt of something to do, right? But... how would we do that, when... everything is keeping them inside? We could put this here, and then we could walk through here, but... The only place that we could portal to... would be... this up here. And it's all blocked off. Like, we need the laser for stuff. And things. And this needs to be inside here for us to hit it with the laser. That. We have to respawn this cube no matter what in order to get that cube. Unfortunately, that is the way things seem to be laid out. And 
this button is a requirement, and this is a requirement, and this is a requirement. That is quite a nightmare. How can we hit this, and this, and this, from outside? If we try to use the other cube, then it won't be pressing that button anymore... for that. And if it recalls itself, we can't have that activated and that activated at the same time. How exactly is this supposed to work? This is still a mystery to me. I can't use this funnel for anything because it's not on a portable surface. What if? What if we can serve portal surfaces here? So if we leave a portal here... And then if we grab this guy, put him on... this button... Oh right, we need both. That's the issue, is we need both. do this, right? But then... then this is still on. That doesn't help us. And like, we could walk around it, but... If we walk around it like this, then we're trapped. And we literally have to fizzle our portals in order to do anything at this point. Although we could recall the cube, but that's beside the point at this point. Like, you would think that you would walk out, and since the black portal is there, that I'd be able to shoot the green portal here, but the fizzler is in the way. So there's no way to do that unless I have a third cube out here pointing at that for me. And even if I did turn off that fizzler, what would be the point? Why would I want to turn off that fizzler? Why would I want to turn off that fizzler? Just point this this direction. I don't think it's gonna help much, but can't hurt, right? At least it won't respawn the other cube. I don't know why I keep doing that. I don't need to do that. Yeah, that does that, but that's not helpful. It's not helpful at all. Cause I can't go in there. It's grading on both sides. I could just hit moon now. But I can't. If I could just get in there, but I can't. Is there a way to see that from in there? 
I don't think it would do much good, but... Yeah, I don't think that would even be helpful. I mean, I think technically it could work, but... Yeah, it would be feasible, but wouldn't make much sense. But I haven't tried it, so might as well. There we go. Now we take this. Right, that's the issue, is that now, with nothing on the button. So how about I use the other cube? Although I'm not sure if that's feasible either now. There's so many connections here. Give me this. Thank you. And... I guess, do this, I suppose? Yeah, let's do that. We'll go with that for now. Alright. This... And... That. Alright, well... I guess that's something, perhaps. And it does not seem to be even the slightest bit useful. Although... We now point that at this instead. That guy would recall himself, and then it would just come off the button. Hmm... Because we just need that temporarily. That is an idea. Let me through here, please. Thank you. So let's try that next. Readjust the aim on this. And do this. Yeah, whatever. And let's walk out and try this again. this, and then it should recall itself and then pass right through, right? Ah, I placed it too high. Well, that's what quick saves are for. I need to place the black portal higher and the green portal lower. Alright. Black portal. Save... Green portal. Oh! Too low! Oh my gosh, that is a delicate balance right there. Okay, let's place the green portal at the top this time. Because I placed the black portal higher. There we go, that should work. Hey, what do you know it works? And what has that accomplished for us? Absolutely nothing. But we did that, we opened that, whatever that does for us, I don't actually know. Why- why did I want that? How is this useful to me? missing everything but the button. And like, if there were a cube right next to here... I could move it, but... I don't really think... there's anywhere I would move it to point at. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that helped me at all. But at least it was something new, right? It was something we haven't tried yet. What else have we not tried yet?
Like, I just need to be able to stand on that button, and it would drop this cube out here, and that would make things so much easier. no point pointing the laser through there, because we're not- it's not like we're gonna bootstrap it or anything. Plus, the game doesn't even work that way. Yeah, there's no bootstrapping involved, because there's no other laser emitters, so no bootstrapping involved. There's only one funnel, no bootstrapping involved in that regard, either. Like, we can shoot portals while we're standing here, but there's no other portal surface we can reach. So, it's not helpful. And this sizzler is only disabled by that guy that we can't see. But we need a laser in the first place for that. And this is designed such that we can't... Yeah, we can't- can't do that. Can't see this portal surface. Can't put a portal on here at the same time as being up here. Just cannot be done. Although, that is something I haven't tried. Let's try this. I don't know what it'll do, but it's something I haven't tried, so... might as well. I did nothing! Hooray! Use that. That- that only... This only... Only... This only does this fizzler and nothing else, so there's not really any point to that. What disables this fizzler again? Alright, just putting this cube on it in the first place. That's a catch-22, because if we have a laser pointing through that, we can't have the sizzler off. Oh, man. And there's this... wall that we haven't gotten a chance to use yet. All that'll do is recall this cube, which isn't very helpful. How do we use this wall? Like, we can do that much, but then what? We've already- we've already gone through this scenario, and it's already looked not good for us. We don't have a way to disable... Don't have a way to disable these... These fizzlers here and here without... You know, without leaving through them. What is the purpose of this fizzler? I don't understand what the purpose of this fizzler is, because it... Honestly, you can just walk right around it. Like this. 
I guess it only has a purpose if you're coming from this portal surface, but... When would I do that? I'm not really seeing what to do here. Like, I have a lot of options... ...but I don't see how to proceed. Like, I feel like I have tried everything at this point. Wait a sec, that's a regular cube, that's not even on laser cube! Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to do with the regular cube? Would- So here's the question, Flooper has in the past made maps using the Great Glitch. Would I use the Great Glitch again here? Because the regular cube, I guess, if you want to, can just immediately be put here, but then what's even the point? Like, you would think you would want to use it in here or here. Because of the way this is set up, we cannot have this flip panel at the same time that that fizzler is off. That fizzler will always be on as long as this flip panel is on. Like, I can't even figure out how to spawn this in the first place. I'm- I'm gonna cut here... ...and try and figure this out... ...by myself. Alright, so, it's a new day, I had to sleep and ask for help. <laughs> Cause, uh, I was- I was very fixated on trying to spawn the regular cube, which apparently... ...the first step is actually deactivating the upper fizzler. And, uh, I've done that, but I think- I think what I need to do... ...is I need to have something pointed at... ...this. Which means I'm gonna need to move that laser cube over to there, and I'm gonna have to use this guy to, like, recall itself, maybe? Yeah, I think I have to use it to recall itself, so that's- let's do- let's focus on that first. That's a combination that I'm- I may have tried on camera, or I may have tried it off camera, but I didn't really understand the usefulness at the time. So, yeah, so now, let's see here. This guy here pointed at that. There we go. Okay, we take this guy, we put him on the button, and he's going to recall himself. So we need him on the button, we need something on the button anyway, at least temporarily, in order to activate that, in order to act deactivate this fizzler. And yeah. So, now that we've done that, theoretically we should be able to have all these fizzlers off. Which is something that I hadn't considered even, uh, doing yet. I thought we needed the regular cube first to even begin attempting that. Alright, let's save. And... continue. And I shot too high. Wonder if I can fix that from here. Hey, I can fix it from there, awesome. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what we want right there. So now, I can actually... shoot either one of my portals there. Yeah, let's do that. There we go, that's progress! That's something I would not have been able to do without the hint. Thank you, Flooper. I very much appreciate it. Alright, so, now that we've done that... The question is, do we want... to 
to keep a portal up here, or... Well, it doesn't matter. We'll just have to remember not to quick save from now on. So yeah, let's put this cube on this button, which will deactivate this fizzler. Ah yeah, here we go. And then, we can... yeah. So now we can set things up... ...to have interesting things happen, such as... I think one, two, three. Yeah, we can spawn the regular cube now! Hooray! Huzzah! Wow, that really was the missing link. Because <laughs> I knew this was important at some point, but I just couldn't figure out how or when we would use it. Regular cube should theoretically spawn momentarily. Yay! I heard one of the classic. one of the classic flooper outside logic relay things somewhere. Somewhere around here. I don't- I don't exactly see where, but somewhere there's outside logic. That was, like, from the Talos maps. Alright, so. We can put this here. Although we could also take it inside. That's probably what we'll want to do first, right? Because we can always respawn it again later. So let's go ahead and take it indoors. Yeah, and we'll put it on this button. Here we go. We can also take this cube out. That's something we can do. We can take both cubes out. We can take all the cubes out, actually. Interestingly enough. What did this guy do again? Right, that only drops the cube. That one turns off this fizzler. So let's- let's just aim it at that for now. Oh, wrong- wrong, uh... Whoops. Ha! Give me the other cube. Uh, oh, actually, no, I can't take the other cube, because if I take the other cube, this fizzler will turn back on. So actually, I can only take one cube out at a time right now. I mean, one laser cube, anyway. Hmm. Although, with this like this, I could just walk it out the other way. Yeah, let's try that. Hey, look at that, we can just walk it out the other way. Whee! Gimme that. Alright, so. Now that we've done this... We might be able to make... A tiny bit of progress, maybe. Theoretically, we might actually be able to solve it right now. Although, getting in- getting over to this side... Oh, well, the exit's open, so I don't even have to worry about that. So let's put this right here. Uh-huh. And hopefully we don't need portals in there anymore, because we've got both cubes out of here, so... Portal there, and... there. Give me this. And we're gonna aim it... about... there-ish. And then, give me this. Let's walk all the way over here, not into the deadly goo, though. And do... this. And, uh... that. There we go. That'll work. In fact, we can- we can fizzle all these cubes if we wanted to. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Alright, so. We're done! Hooray! That was easier than I anticipated. <laughs> I just... For some reason, that- that mental block I had for the first half hour there... I could not get past it, no matter what. Like, I rewatched the video... And I- I tried it... a bit... uh, off-camera. And then finally I decided I needed to ask her help. Which sometimes, sometimes you just have to ask for help, and that's just the way things are. So let's see, let's get all these cubes lined up for the exit. And then we will get out of here. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!